Okay, so the havening technique, it's simple. It's very simple. I'm going to show you two things that you're going to do, okay? The first thing that you're going to do is this motion. So you're going to take your right hand and put it on your left shoulder. You're going to take your left hand and put it on your right shoulder, like an Egyptian. And then you're going to stroke your arms all the way down to the elbows, okay? Now, when I say stroke, stroke like you mean it. Stroke like everything's okay. Everything's okay. It's a there, there stroke. There, there. Nice and firm, okay? Now, that's one thing that you're going to do. The other thing you're going to do is this. It's with the eyes, okay? And now it's very important that when I ask you to do this, that you keep your head still, okay? So you're going to be looking forward and you're going to be moving your eyes horizontally. Right as far as you can to the right or to your left and as far as you can to the other side. So you're going to be moving them like this, look. Okay, backwards and forwards. That's the only two things that you need to focus on. Now, in a moment, I'm going to ask you to uh, think of an event, okay, or a feeling, an emotion that you have that's very present in your life, a negative one, if you want to call it negative. Um, so perhaps the event that was most traumatic for you, or an emotion that causes you most distress. You work on whatever you want, okay? So do that now. Get in touch with that. Go back, get in touch with that feeling, get in touch with that event. See what you were seeing then, hear what you were hearing then, and then really feel that feeling. Notice where you feel it in your body. And as you do that, I want you to give it a number of intensity. If zero was nothing, and 10 was maximum intensity, what number is it at? And just make a mental note of that and hold that feeling, okay? And now, I'd like you to close your eyes and then just listen to my instructions. Close your eyes now, put your hands on your shoulders, your right hand on your left shoulder, left hand on your right shoulder, and you're going to count from one to 20. With every number that you count, I'd like you to imagine that you're walking along the beach and you're holding the hands of two people that you love a lot, okay? Now, with me, every number, I want you to stroke your arms down and up with every number. You wanna count from one to 20. So with your eyes closed now, let your mind go blank. Let go of that old feeling. Just think of anything neutral and off we go. So, one, two, three. Keep those eyes closed, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now, open your eyes. Okay? Just keep stroking your arms, open your eyes, and then start moving your eyes to the right, to the left, to the right. Keep your head still, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. One more time, right, the left. Okay, close your eyes again, and then we're gonna count from one to 20. This time I want you to imagine you're climbing up some stairs, and at the top, there's something very beautiful. Ready? So with the eyes closed, rubbing in time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Climbing up those stairs. Seven, eight. Count out loud with me. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, and 20, okay? Keep rubbing, open your eyes, keep your head still, and move your eyes to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, 
to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, and to the right, and to the left. Okay, now, take a nice deep breath. Drop your arms down to the side. And then get in touch with that old feeling again. And see what number it's at. Now, notice if it's dropped. Very normal, it's very typical for that number to have dropped. So if it was, I don't know, if it was a 10, perhaps it's an 8 now. Or if it was an 8, perhaps it's a 6 now. Or perhaps it's even more. Some people struggle to find the same feeling. Whatever it is, what we're going to do is we're going to work to get it down to below 3. Ideally to 0. But if you can get it to below 3, you are in control. Okay? So, if it's gone completely, fantastic. Go back to the start and choose a new feeling, something else or a new memory that's caused you problems. If it hasn't gone completely or if it's not below a three, let's continue. We're going to do it again, okay? So, put your hands on your shoulders now. Give yourself a measurement, zero to ten. What number are you at now? Okay, on that feeling. Okay, close your eyes. Let that feeling go now and just make your mind go blank. Think of anything neutral. And then we're going to imagine that we're walking through a beautiful park. Okay, and you're walking with me through a beautiful park. We're going to count from one to twenty out loud. Do it with me. One, two, three, rubbing those arms, four, firmly, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, keep rubbing, open your eyes. And then start looking to the right, sharp to the right, sharp to the left, sharp to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. Okay, now close your eyes again, and this time you're going to count from 1 to 20, and imagine that you're walking through the most beautiful place in the world for you. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, keep rubbing. Open those eyes and then look sharp to the right, sharp to the left, 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 and to the right and to the left. Okay, now take a deep breath. <sighs> Drop your arms by your side. Open your eyes now and get in touch with that old feeling and see what number are you at now? How much has it come down? Okay. Now, if you're still above a three, then what you do is this. You just go back to the start of the video and do it again. Now, if it's gone or if it's below a three and it's under control, then what you do is find another feeling something else that has been causing you problems, a memory or a feeling, and start working with that. Okay? And that's all you need to do. It's a very simple thing. This is, a, this is an exercise that you can take with you anywhere. You can, if you're feeling particularly upset or traumatized, if you feel like you're going to have a panic attack, if you feel uncomfortable or whatever, you can nip into a corner, nip into the loo, and just do this. It takes, what, 
two minutes, three minutes, and you will instantly bring down your um, feeling, your negative feeling. Okay. Now, how are you going to use this? Simple. You can do this as many times as you like. If you've got a lot of time on your hands, do it as many times as you can. Okay. But as a minimum, what I would recommend is that you do it every morning and every evening as a minimum. So in the morning, you think of the day ahead and you think of any negative feelings that you have or you think of your past and think of any trauma, any feelings of negativity that you have about anything. And then at the end of the day, you can look at your day and see if you've got any negative feelings about your day, anything, any negative feelings about your behavior, anything like that. Or if not, go back and think about the things in the past that have caused you trauma and do that. And do it until you've got it below three. Now, I promise you, if you use this and if you use it properly and use it over and over again and follow my instructions, don't cut corners and don't mess around and say, well, I'll not do the eyes or uh, I'll just do it one time. Do it properly, okay? Because it's not my system. This is a system that's been developed. You will get relief and you will be amazed at how better you feel, all right? If you do it properly. So, Please give me some feedback. Let me know how things are going. I really do enjoy the feedback because it helps me know if I've done something that's worthwhile or if not. And it helps me adjust what I'm doing. All right. So I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.